Okay. Hello, everyone. This is a lesson on inequalities and function, how you solve um, inequalities using functions. The first thing that you need to know is that when you're looking at a function, a function, when it's above, the, when you look at a function, it's the y. When you look at the function, it's just in y is equals to, then you get the function. So when the function is above the x-axis, it's positive, it's greater than zero. The function below, below, it's negative, it's less than zero. So that is very important to remember. When you're looking at a drawing like this, it means here my function is positive and here my function is negative. Okay, so let's look at the first question. The first question says I must get a function of f at x, which is my parabola, where it's greater than zero. Greater than zero means positive. So the question will say find the x values where the function is positive. Okay, when I look at my function is above here. Let me use a different color. Is above here and above there because they're talking about the function, the f function, which is the parabola. Now, let me look at x values. My x value here at this point where it intersects with the um, x axis is minus one, so it means all the values that are smaller than minus one, my function will be positive, and all the values that are bigger than three, my function will be positive meaning my function will be above the x-axis. So how do we write that? We say x is smaller, less, or equal to minus 1, or x is greater or equal to 3, because from here going that side is greater than 3. How do you know that you write greater or equal, greater or equal, or equal only? It depends on what you are given. You may ask where is the function greater or equal than zero. So here are your answers. Okay, let's look at the second one. The second one they are saying where is the function less than zero, meaning where is the function negative, meaning where is the function below the x-axis. My function is below the x-axis here. Which values from minus 1 to 3, my function is below the x-axis. So all these values of x here, they are below. When you look at these values, all of them, they, they are a group of values that are all together. They are not like this one, it was that part, then this part is not included, then that part. So this is all together. So when you have functions all together like that, you have x and always your inequalities, they are always facing that way. Always they're facing the same direction that way. So when you read, you say x is greater than a value, x is less than a value. Then here are my values. x here is minus 1, x here is 3. So you write the smaller value here, minus 1, and the bigger one, 3. So these x values, my function will be negative, meaning my function will be below the x intercept okay let's look at the next one now here we're talking about two functions we're talking about the straight line which is the g and then the hyperbola that we're talking about all along which is the x now what are they saying about this function they're saying where this function you divide them you you, you find that you get a positive greater than zero division and multiplication works the same so I'm going to look for a function. How do I get a negative? How do I get greater than zero is positive? How do I get a positive? When I have a positive and a positive, I get a positive. When I get a negative and a negative, I get a positive. So it means I am either going to look for my functions where they are both above or both below. So then my answer there will be equals to will be positive, will be greater than zero. Here, when I look at this one, my f function is above, but my my straight line is below. So the, 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 the value is, is not going to be negative. Up to when? 
up to when I get here, when I get at the zero, my when I get here, when I get at this this wave, now it's below, and my straight line is also below. So it means when 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 x is minus one, my function becomes below, and when the straight line, the straight line from from here, the straight line is below. So it means from here, when x is minus one, this function is below. That function is below. They are both below. They are both below. They are both below up to here. You see that from here, they are both below. Both below. Both below up to there. So what are my values here? My values is x is greater than three. Minus one. But it's not the only place. Oh, I have this as well. Now, when we get to this point, when, when x is 3, now both of them, they're above. When both of them, they're above, the x-axis, they're both positive. If they're both positive, then my answer will be positive. So what's my values here? When x is greater than 3. So these two answers, if you write one of them, you lose marks. You have to write both of the answers. To show way both when you divide both your functions, you get a positive. Okay, let's look at the last one. The last one is slightly different, it's not a function. They're talking about the x values and the function where both of them they will be positive. You multiply the x values and the function and they'll both be positive. Okay, the x function, where are my x function negative? All these x function from, from the origin. Going to that side, all of them they're negative. From the origin, going to the right, all of them they are positive. So I'm gonna look for where my x values and my function they're either both positive or both negative. Let's see. These are all negative. My function from here, my function is positive, is above. But when I get to here, my function is below. So it's negative and my x is also negative up to here to zero so my x is greater my x is greater than one because from one i go to up to zero then my x gets to zero because from zero now even though my hyperbola is still below my x values now are positive so now from here they're both positive up to here this function now my function is positive and my x values are also positive. So my other place is x is greater than 3. Or x is greater than 3. So that's the other place where my x values are positive and my function is also positive. So these are easy marks if you get used to them. Also, you really need to practice this. This You can, you can use it. It makes things very easy for question 1 inequalities. You can use a graph. If you understand how to use it to get the inequalities, you'll never get them wrong. This is the end of our lesson. I hope you watch this video and then practice, practice, practice and get these easy marks. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is the end of the lesson.